what it is y'all what's up y'all so my name is melissa and i'm back with another video but this time it's gonna be a diy i'm gonna turn this regular shirt into a beautiful dress so let's let's get it let's get it let's get it let's jump into the video right, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is flip your shirt inside out it is what it is then you're going to take a dress that makes you look super snatched and nice just like this one okay so you're gonna take a dress line it up with the shirt just like this you're gonna make sure you line the neck part and also the sleeves I'll show you guys how to line it up cut it out turn it into a masterpiece okay guys so basically what you're gonna do you're gonna line it up you're gonna draw along the shirt right since i already know how to sew i already know what to do you have to leave enough for seam allowance meaning when you sew it up you have to give it some space so that way it won't be too tight so right here i did mess up a little bit but as far as drawing the sleeves with no straight edge or anything to draw it off with this is the best i can do so now it's time to sew it up to the east side so it all right so of course guys before you sew it <laughs> make sure you cut it so we're gonna go ahead and cut it up and then we're going to get into the sewing okay so guys we're going to go ahead and cut out the shirt i honestly cannot see y'all this marker idea was terrible i hope i'm doing a good job and this better fit because I'm gonna be mad, but it's gonna all turn out great. See you in a few. Okay, you guys, so I cut out one side already. Yes, I am gonna make it long sleeve. I'll figure it out later if I wanna make it short sleeve or not. And bow, I didn't finish cut the other side yet because I'm nervous. I can't see what I'm doing. Even though you can see the lines and it looks all choppy, but I'm cutting it how I know I could leave enough seam allowance without following my line. So I'm kind of freestyling right now. So bear with me, guys. This side looking all good and everything. And this side looking all, we need some, oh, we need help. Look at this. I don't even know. All right, guys, we're going to make it work. See you in a few. All right, boom. So on to the next part. Make sure you take some pins and make sure you safety pin it along the edges so that way you can hold your shape that you're trying to accomplish i do not have enough pins guys so i'm going to be freestyling this whole dress thingy so um let's go sew it up right now and see how it looks catch you guys in a few okay so i really hope this is a perfect angle where you guys can see so we're gonna start sewing it and then i'm gonna put it on fast mode so that way i can do this really quick. All right. Also guys, you wanna to try to get it as close to the seam as possible because remember you left enough seam allowance, but you also want to make sure you get it as close as possible just in case all right i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video again wowzers you guys i forgot to press play all right let me speed it up flip side since I already sewed this part of the sleeve up and I had to flip it so once I come up I will join the sleeve together I really hope this is a great angle and I'm going to continue sewing and I will speed up this part
All right, so we're getting closer to the underarm part of this dress. And now I shall continue, but I'm gonna speed this part up. Like I said, I really hope this angle is perfect. So guys, the reason I hold this down to back stitch and forward stitch is because I want to seal that stitch and make sure it stays. All right, y'all, so on the flip side, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the opposite side and I'm gonna do it on this side. Once again, I'm gonna speed up this video. I went ahead without you I am sorry so on the next side we're gonna pretty much do the same thing until we come up to the underarm part and I'm gonna speed up this part once again and looks like my phone is dying amazing let's get started Okay, so I wanted to jump on really quick before I show you guys the finished product. I just want to say the dress is beautiful. So I must say though, when you're making your shirt dress, make sure you cut the sleeve part big enough so that way your both of your arms can fit because I did end up having to cut the sleeves off. So also, if you want your dress to be much longer, you can get a bigger size. The dress I got, oh, the shirt <laughs> I got was an extra large so if you want it longer make sure you get like a 2xl even a 3xl because you're always going to be able to cut it and adjust it to your size so guys without further ado here is the dress hey so i'm back and this is the finished product of the dress that once was a shirt oh i like it you know what guys i did cut the sleeves off because i made it too small but you know what it is what it is i'm gonna go ahead fix it up and it fits me perfectly and you know guys if you want to make your shirt dress a little longer get a bigger size this was an extra large i believe so if you want it longer get like a 2xl or even a 3xl if you want to make it a little right here but yes this is the final product do you like it do you like it Thank you guys for watching this video like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and if you love this go ahead and share it with your friends share it with your friends share it with your friends thank you guys for watching bye